rupees. Let's go do it again. And thank you everyone who's been here today. You know, you're lurking. You know, I really needed the company. I know um, Majora has been here. I know Dobbs has been here. It's just... It has been one hell of a week. And I'll wait for the ad to end before I say anything more. No one should have to go through this. And I could say this caught me off guard because yes, I was trying to leave that place, but not in that particular way, you know. And you think yes, I've been too dependent working there, and that's probably true. But you know, I'm just waiting for some plans to happen, and it's kind of like. Things are moving so freaking slow right now, and if my job had just waited on me for like three months, I mean three months, I would have probably been fine with being laid off, but nope, couldn't wait. Alright, we'll do this a few more times. Then we'll advance to night number three. So yeah, no, it's like, you know, things could have been a little more... I think things could have waited. In my opinion. You know what? I'm gonna drink this milk. And we're gonna take this to the forest. Oh, actually, we need that mask. Well, it didn't matter. Never mind. I, we needed the mask of sense to do that, and we can't do it right now. So, never mind. It's not like I'm mad at them. It's just I know I wanted to leave, but... <sighs> Things are taking too much time, and then I don't know if this the job I'm going to be applying for will last in more than two months, more or less. But I'm going to tell them I'm going to be working there for a while. But it's kind of like I do have some plans, important plans coming up next, early next year, and they couldn't know what they couldn't wait. Things just could not have waited. And it's, I'm trying not to be selfish about what jobs I work and whatnot, but I kind of want to do things. I, I'm I, I'm just to the point where I can no longer wait for things to happen now. I've been patiently waiting all my life for things, you know, these good moments to happen, and then boom, I have to wait on other people's turn and. I could have been that guy who's just a total douche nozzle and selfish and all that. And I have those days. Believe me, I have those days where I want to be selfish. I can demand subscription money from everybody, but I'm not going to do that. I'd be too petty if I did that. I don't want to do that. I don't want to ask for help from you guys because you know I, you, guys, you guys have your own life. But I do. And the, the the thing is, I'm kind of embarrassed to set some see, and there is some quarters of our society that say asking for help is 
the wrong thing to do. And it's like... I don't want to be one of those people who's, you know... After giving so much to and working my butt off for the last decade... And... Time and time again, people have taken advantage of me where... You know, people should treat me with better respect. And, you know, you're gonna... I'm sorry for ranting like that, but it's true. People wonder why I was so angry, especially when my dad was... You know, declining in health for a, a total of three years. Is that... I wish someone would have done something, but no one wanted to help us because, well, some people do not like disabled people. And that made me even more angrier. There's a section of our population who believes helping a disabled person is both immoral and inhumane thing can do because it's that we feed off we feed off other people's happiness and whatnot that's why i'm so afraid of actually mentioning i have mental issues because why because i don't i don't want to be a bother to anyone i just want the same kind of respect i just want respect and all and that's what i've fought for the last 10 years and it started with my ex-girlfriend. Believe me, it started with her. Where I've actually put my foot down and said, you know what? You do what you want, Carla. You know, you do what you want. Just know that you can... Just stop trying to reduce me to nothing. And say I am just... A piece of trash in you because I'm some sort of bottom of the food chain or whatever. And that's how she treated me. After working all those years. I hadn't seen Carla in like since 2017. But I, the things, the emotional damage is still there. The, the real emotional damage and stuff. And I'm just afraid I will never get the respect that I want. And that's, that's what I fear the most. I just want to be treated like... Like how I have treated others with kindness and respect and dignity and all that. It's not like I ask for much. I just want to be better. But to some people... At least to some people who never respected my dad because he was disabled. They blamed us for being bottom feeders. And that's what pissed me off more than anything about people. No respect for the disabled. It's not like it's their fault to begin with, but it's not like my dad's fault for getting cancer or anything. But some people thought it was his fault, and like these religious types, they go on and on how they wish to be superior, but they cannot find it that to helping the weak it gives you strength too, you know. And all my life, I've had, especially in the last 10 years, I've had to fight for that kind of respect, you know? I know you don't want to hear it, but I have to say it. I never... I respect people's freedom and their freedom... 
whatnot, but you don't. I, 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 how can there be freedom when you don't respect people? I don't know. I just wish people had been more helping our family than more supportive of our family than they let on. And now my mom's heading into her older years, and I want her to have, you know, dignity and grace, even though she is in pain a lot of the time. I wish, so you know, doctors could do more for her, but... <sighs> even they, I don't even trust doctors sometimes, because they... have this conservative mindset. They do, do not want to heal. Some of they can't even follow the Hippocratic Oath or anything like that, you know? But I'm sorry for talking like this, but I'm just... The emotions are now starting to really come out right now. I mean, it's really, really... You know in full force right now. Alright. Um, 